They've completed the walk of champions and the Crimson Tide is on the field. The elephant became associated with the tide when a fan once said, hold on boys, the elephants are coming and the Crimson Tide is ready to roll at home. Time for ESPN College Football and we are expecting a dandy tonight. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet will be on the call. We got a great matchup in store and a terrific setting for it here on the campus of the University of Alabama. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. And we'll be kicking off under the lights thanks to Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Our matchup features the Texas A&M Aggies and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. They don't seem too worried about the outcome. Well, the talent gap between these two teams is so wide. You know, nobody wants to be embarrassed, but I have a hard time seeing this staying close. Now let's head down to midfield for the coin toss. And remind you, this game's brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. He's to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. For Texas A&M, Kirk, when this offense is clicking, they can really put points on the board, kind of explain their style to everybody. Well, this offense relies heavily on the pass, and that means an accurate quarterback has to make this thing go. He's got to be in a good rhythm with all of his receivers because there are a lot of quick hitters and short passes. If the pass rush can rattle him, it can really disrupt this offense. They line up at the nine. It's second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down at the 22. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. And he might change the play here before the snap. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Here's the option. Good outside run there. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Michael takes it up the middle. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gotta be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. Back to pass. They bring the quarterback down. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. And they're coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
Tackle made at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Lacey takes it left. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That makes it second and eight. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Lacey picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 34. Got a man. Watch out here. Drop down around the 41-yard line. The offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. From their own 41-yard line, first down. They'll get six yards. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a decent four. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. McCarron drops back to pass. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He drops back. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. the 21 yard line it's first down gives it left side and they push him out at the 11 yard line so it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down about the nine yard line. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. This is the 10th play of this drive. Hut. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fowler gains about four yards on the play. From the five yard line, it's second down. goes at the five-yard line no gain on the play that makes it third and goal this is from the five-yard line it's third and goal quick shot to the tight end and he can't pull it in Williams the intended receiver on the play that brings up fourth and goal. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Alabama is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The 
looks like they're ready for the kick. He gets a booming kick. He's to the 10. Gets out to about the 21. They'll start at the 21. Back to pass. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. That makes it second and ten. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. They fake the handoff and complete the pass good for six yards. It's absolutely deafening down there. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Option. He's taken down at about the 29 yard line. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 29 yard line. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's looking to pass. Here they come. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 42. Alabama is up a field goal. Takes 